Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the United States of America. Um, as you may know, we received some very surprising and um, somewhat disturbing news the other day. I wasn't originally going to talk about this, but I figured that as an American citizen, I should exercise my First Amendment right to discuss this and um, give my opinion on what's what's happening here in the United States of America. I, uh, I'm shocked. I, I didn't think that this would happen. Um, some people are very angry. Um, some other people um, maybe, uh, some other people maybe, you know, some people may be very upset about this, and I, I can understand both, really. I really can. At this time, though, I believe that we sh need to unify as a people and put our differences aside, because I think that would, would, would be best for the future. And I'm going to give my opinion on how I think we should proceed with this future um, to what I think what we should do to get the best results out of this. If you're not 100% sure what I'm talking about, which <laughs> I'm sure you are, but I'm talking about the fact that Fox wants to reboot the X-Men movies. And my biggest concern for this is, does this put the sequels to Deadpool at risk? Because I think that we really do deserve a, a sequel to Deadpool. I think that Deadpool is probably one of the best superhero movies that they have put out. In recent years, because it, the way it just stuck to its source material, the costumes were completely accurate, and it it didn't feel like it had to change anything, and it was just a basic story that didn't have to build up to anything else or cram too, other, too many other things in, and I really enjoyed it. To me, I think it's the most accurate X-Men movie we have gotten so far, and I am not a big X-Men fan. Um, I really am not. My only exposure to them is a cartoon. I've seen the first two movies. As you know, I've reviewed one of them so far. I plan on doing all of them someday soon. But the X-Men movies being rebooted, I think would be, uh, I think is the best way to go at this point. Um, the question is, will this reboot take place in the MCU? Do you think that Fox will let the... Marvel have their characters back to use them in the MCU, and I hope that is how they are going to proceed into the future. Um, I really think that that is the best way to go, and how I would do it is, for me personally, I don't find the X-Men as individual characters that interesting at all, except for Wolverine, Xavier, and Magneto. So I don't need a bunch of origin movies um, on the side, but how I would do it is I think that post-Infinity War would be the perfect time to uh, re to introduce the X-Men in the MCU as well as the Fantastic Four because now it feels like they're getting more into that era in like the 60s and 70s where really uh, Marvel hit its peak. I think that's when they were at their best. Um, so I think that would be the best time to introduce the, the X-Men because if you notice we're, we're getting into more of those, those superheroes that were the most popular in that time period such as Spider-Man, um, who else was around? I know Doctor Strange and, you know, pretty much everybody but, um, Captain America, Iron Man, like, you know, the really old ones, because it seems like Spider-Man and these heroes really ruled that period, and I think that Fantastic Four and X-Men would go along great with that. I really hope that they give it back to Marvel. Um, I would love to see, uh, see, you know, these famous stories like Days of Future Past, uh, which I have not seen yet, the Days of Future Past movie, but I do intend on it. I have heard nothing but good things about it. But I would love to see that redone in the MCU as well as uh, the Dark Phoenix saga. And, um, yeah, I really hope that, that they give the X-Men back to the MCU at this point. As far as Deadpool goes, I say keep Deadpool going where it's going. Um, you know, just have him just... Because Deadpool can exist kind of outside of this the MCU, I think. Kind of just have him like make jokes. I'd love to see him appear in big crossover movies. Um, I think that would be really fun, you know, just to have him show up. But keep him kind of separate, but still in this universe. So that, like, we know that he's out there, but, you know, he's still doing the same thing. And I would be open to any actors that would be willing to uh, um, reprise a role from 
from the original X-Men series to come back over and reprise them again. I think that the, that's something that the X-Men movies have always had going for them as a cast. And uh, speaking of the cast, it's it's sad to see uh, Hugh Jackman not going to be playing Wolverine anymore. But uh, Logan looks great. Um, that's the first time I think I've ever cared about an X-Men movie. Um, I saw the trailer for that and I was immediately hooked and I was, you know, it's a beautiful trailer. It really is. But I just wanted to throw that out uh, there for you guys. I, I really feel that like this is time to bring the X-Men into the MCU. I hope that they can do that. I know there was rumors of that for a while. I just hope that they, I hope that they don't like continue on. Well, I know they're not going to continue on because they say they're going to reboot it. Um, so, yeah, I think it's time for the X-Men and the Fantastic Four to make their way to the MCU. I hope that this is a sign that they're getting closer to that. You know, just, you know Fox can still make the movies. Just let Marvel have the creative control over them and let them have, be in interact with all the other uh, characters because I would love to see you know I would love to see the Dark Phoenix I would love to see Days of Future Past done with the MCU I would love to see an X-Men versus uh, Avengers movie I think that that would be a great Avengers movie to do down the line um, yeah so I, I, I want to see the Sentinels I want to see them in their yellow costumes I want to see the cartoon that I watched as a kid come to life because that was my really my only exposure to the X-Men also um, a good comic book I think that they could base it off of to do the first movie is the Ultimate Comics for X-Men. They weren't that bad. I'm not a huge fan of the Ultimate Comic books, but I did like the... I do have one issue of the Ultimate X-Men where I think it's uh, when... Uh, what was it? It was Storm, Jean Grey, kind of where they all like got recruited um, at first, and then Wolverine makes like, a surprise appearance at the end of the issue. I would love to see them do that, like, develop the other X-Men before they introduce, like, Wolverine and then have him come into the next movies. Um, I think that'd be great. I also really want to see these characters interact with everybody else in the MCU. So, um, that's all I wanted to talk about. Stay strong, America. I know you can do it. These are trying times, and I hope that we get the X-Men movie that I think that we all deserve, because every X-Men fan that I talk to always just says, yeah, the X-Men movies are okay. And I know that we could do better than that. And I'm hoping for a bright future with the Deadpool movies. So, God bless America. And take care. That's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thank you.